Yeah, well, hopefully he'll think twice before he accuses anybody again. Yeah, either that or he'll have us working completely naked. Oh, but with hair nets. You know, health and safety. Yeah. And on the other end of the scale. I know, I'd rather be managed by. Hiya. All right, how's it going? <laughs> Why don't you get in to take you out for a drink? Yeah, Mum and Dad would love that. Still, anything's an improvement on Dan, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I think you've got a thing for scallies, mate. Not my fault, I hate being bored. Oof. Ta da! What do you think? Fits perfect. Been out spending our money again, then? It's a dress, Nikhil, not a diamond tiara. Thought I'd treat myself to some new work gear. Got a dress to impress. After yesterday, I thought you wanted to keep your head down. While you were out reinventing yourself, didn't have to bring any juice back in, did I'm you? sorry. At your age, I thought you'd be more than capable of getting your own. Right. Can you two please just rein it in for five minutes? So you've got some interviews, then? Who exactly are you dressing to impress? Don't know yet. People. You know, you've got to grab these opportunities as and when they present themselves. Yeah, well, if you can try not to grab any more of our opportunities, I'd really appreciate that. Paul Hardwick's been on this morning, niggling about the small print. Jump to have a word? No, I can handle it. Just keep her away. Don't you speak to me like that, you little toy. All right, that is enough. Nikhil's right, though. Well, it's probably best if you give the factory a wide berth from now on, all things considered. Anyone can make a mistake, Jay, right? Yes, I know. I will see you later. You know, you can play dressing up all you like, doesn't make you a businesswoman. Just like your other outfits don't make you a real policewoman or a nurse. Will you stop moping around like a wet weekend? You're making the place look untidy. Oh, cheers for the sympathy. No, it's not a bar. Even I can walk it, although probably not great in six-inch heels. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. OK, see you then. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> Hen weekend in Todmorden. A load of goths want me to do a pub crawl. Goths? Do they get married? Well, these lot do, and they're insisting I get dressed up with them. Are you coming back to work or are you planning on setting up camp? I'm finishing my lunch. Just stay away from McCall. The last thing she needs right now is you making things more complicated. More bills? I uh, know it's a letter confirming that I'm up in court defending Aaron. What? When? I haven't had a letter. But when you arrived this morning, maybe yours is still in the post. Did they say when you gave a statement that you might get caught? Well, I don't know. I... So much going on, I don't really remember what they said. Well, you might not be able to anyway. I mean, they're not going to let parents testify, are they? I presume you just say whatever to get them off. So being under oath doesn't mean anything? Oh, like you wouldn't lie if you had to. I wouldn't have to, though, would I? Because Aaron's told them what he did and why he did it. All right, girls, let's just leave it, because we're not in court now, yeah? Probably why you're not going on the stand. Oh, come to life now, have you? Have you been sitting around scaring my customers all morning because your five-minute relationship's gone pop? Chaz. No! I've had stuff in my fridge longer than they've known each other. I was only saying... Well, don't, thank you very much, cos I really don't need advice from you. Oh, she's just a kid. Well, if she can dish it out. Right. Give me his number. Who? Gerald! What's his face? Aaron's barrister. I'm gonna sort this out. I don't think that's a good idea. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna ask him why he doesn't think I've got the right to defend my own son. Now! Look, I told you, just tell them the truth, that's all you can do. What if I say something stupid? Well, the odds are pretty high if you open your mouth. But I just don't want to make it any worse for you. Things can't get any worse, mate, honestly. I won't worry about it. Look, cheers for the lift. I'll call you later. All right, mate. You all right? Yeah, great, no far better. <sighs> I've been called up as a witness at the trial for the prosecution. What? They can't do that. Yeah, well, they have. And they can't exactly say no now, can I? I mean, God knows what they could have me saying. Like what? I mean, he has already admitted to killing him. <sighs> well, I only found out this morning. And I mean, he seems all right with it, but how can he be? Do you, um... Do you fancy coming around mine for a chat? No, I, I can't. I've got to get back to work. I've only been left after Lee Shaw could give him a lift back. Okay, well, um, maybe after. 
My dad's off on some golfing trip, so you don't have to worry about him. I don't know. I'll see. Well, don't let me twist your arm. I just thought you could do with a friend that's all. Yeah, I know. And I appreciate it, I do, but... <sighs> well, I'll try and give you a call later, yeah? Should have gone back to mine. I could have soon rustled us up something. It's not up to you to feed me, is it? I'll drive you both back up there if you want. No rushes there. Well, except for the old misery guts clock watching all the time. Nickel. No, Trevor from the warehouse. Mm. Self appointed busybody. Mm. Make a good traffic warden. I bet you any money Nickel's paying him extra to do his dirty work for him. Oh no, Nickel, he ain't half wound his neck in since that holly business. Yeah. Mm. I think he feels proper guilty. Eh? I'm not surprised he went way over the top, poor kid. Oh, he's doing his best. He's just young and daft, isn't he? Mm, thinks he's got to crack the whip to prove himself. Sorry, but he's not that young. And you want to hear the way he carries on about you when he's at home? Oh, yeah. Let's just say, judgmental ain't the word. <laughs> He's kind of in the coat this morning. Terrible when you sit in black and white. I nearly threw up when, when I read it for the first time. You knew it was coming. We're all dead. There's no point getting your knickers in a twist about it now. You senior barrister? What's he like? Uh, he's just a brain in a suit. Seems to know what he's talking about, though. When you got to see him again? I don't know. Probably we've seen a lot of him, though. He's got to put me through my paces. I should be in there with you. And what would be the point in that? There's nothing any of us can do now, is there? Just got to take what's coming to me. Trying to get me fat. Oh, don't think you have to worry about that. So, what are you doing? Not a lot. Not looking for a new boyfriend on one of them dodgy websites, are you? I'm not that sad. Listen, um, I didn't mean what I said about you and Alex earlier. Doesn't matter. And you're right, anyway. We haven't been together that long. Yeah, but it doesn't stop it hurting when they act like complete tall rags, does it? Well, I'm better off without him if that's what he thinks of me. Do you not think you went a tad too far chucking a pint in his lap? That's right, Chaz, because you've never been one to kick off when a bloke's done something bad to you. You got me there. Maybe I overreacted a little bit. Right, so you haven't written him off entirely? I don't know. But I am not begging for anything. He's got to come to me. No, if you want him, you go and get him. It's us girls that hold grudges, not blokes. They're far more straightforward. A bit like dogs. What are you being so nice for, anyway? Thought I was getting on your nerves. Yes, you were. But I shouldn't have snapped. Saren's flaming barrister I want to take chunks out of. He won't take a phone call without an appointment, and his secretary's been blocking me all morning. What's his name? Gerald Lawson, QC. Well, then, why don't we see if we can get his direct line? Bypass the pit bull secretary. Hmm. Shove up. It's not going to break any land speed records, but it's cheap to run. Has he got a CD player? Uh, well, yeah, we could fit one of them for you if you like. Shouldn't be a problem. It's got four months MOT. Ties are in good nick. I just really fancied something in silver. Look, I am sure we can sort you out a good deal. We always like to try for our favourite customers. That's what I am now, is it? Well, you could be if you play a card, right? Where's Aaron? Even if I knew, I wouldn't be telling you. Oh, he does still work here, then. You're not bothered about him killing people. Listen, mate, do yourself a favour. Go home, sleep it off. I'll find him myself. Listen, just gotta make a quick call, okay? Sure you don't want something a bit more fancy? Just about got the hang of the beast. You're all right, Bob. White coffee will do. <sighs> you know, my talents are wasted here. Should be working for NASA, really. 
Do you want me to come with you next time? A bit of moral support. We shouldn't even be talking about this. I shouldn't even be talking to you full stop. Enjoying yourself, are you? This is all we need. Sitting here drinking coffee while my son lies dead in the ground. Not now, Jerry. People are upset enough as it is. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. Can we take this outside? Might be best to go somewhere a bit more private. But make the most of your last days of freedom. Is that what this is about? Because once we get you in court, I'm going to make damn sure you never see daylight again. I know. I've read your statement. I've said it like I see it. Well, the Jackson was scared of me living in fear. Well, wasn't he? You don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't like that. They loved each other. What would Jackson say now if he could see you making up all these lies? Well, we'll never know now, will we? Because you battered him and you bullied him. And in the end, you killed him. What's going on? What's he doing here? My beautiful son. And you killed him. I think you need to calm down, mate. Please, Jerry. Oh, you don't seem so hard now, do you? Does it take it out of you? Killing a man! Hey, 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 stop this! Get out! Right now. I can't move him! Out! Right, you need to go home and calm down. You're not doing yourself any favours here, mate. You're the one who wants locking up. I should have you arrested for intimidating a witness. How do you figure that one out? Oh, you've got form, haven't you? Violent behaviour. Jerry, please, this isn't helping. And you? You don't even get to talk to me again, you murdering bitch. Right, Aaron, just get inside, all right? There is no point trying to reason with him. Right, come on. I'll take I don't want to go to my car. I want my son back. Well, this ain't going to bring him back, is it? You'll end up nicked if you carry on like this. This isn't over. A life for a life. <laughs>